Hey, what's going on, guys? In no time, we gotta watch, alright? We gotta watch because it's here, okay? The trailer for Origins. Origins, the new map pack. I'm assuming it's the map pack name or the game mode of the map. I don't know, but it is so amazingly awesome. I don't even know how to explain it. So, you start off here and it's like, every story has a beginning, dot, dot, dot. And... Every story has an end, of course. You know, they have to include that to show that this is the beginning, a prequel, and it's the end at the same time. So that's crazy, you know? <laughs> but, um, anyways. Alright, anyways, moving on. Moving on. We see, for the first time ever in two years, our old characters back. Yes! I'm so happy they're back. I know we pretty much confirmed it with the letters and stuff, but... Now it's more concrete than ever, and I cannot believe some of you. Some of you guys are actually saying that uh, Dempsey looks like Mason, and that Dempsey is actually Mason. And like some of you guys are saying Reznov, and uh, Reznov and D and not Dempsey, Reznov and Mason are new characters, and we don't have the old ones back. Are you are you kidding me? This is ha like it's so obvious it's them. Like it shows. Like the maps they were, or like the maps that relate to them, it shows everything. I mean, you have with uh, Takio, it shows Shino Numa, and then uh, you have Rick Toffin shown. Like, on, I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I can't explain. You you have all these maps hinted uh, in this trailer, and I guess what that means is that old maps are coming back. I guess. I guess you can make that connection. I guess you could say that. Um, they're showing all this because they're going to bring back all the old maps with the old characters. That's what I'm thinking. Um, I didn't really think that they were actually going to bring back all the maps because I think that would be too much and they wouldn't do it. But who knows? I guess anything could happen. Um, I mean, if they brought back all the World at War maps and all the Black Ops... T or not two, Black Ops 1 maps... Uh, with the old characters, then they could have this whole origin story, kind of. Call of the Dead and Five would be left out, but um, I'm sad to see those two go if that happens, um, because Call of the Dead is a really part, uh, it's a really big part of the storyline. Um, but, you know, maybe they just want it to be all the old characters, because they're only, they haven't shown anything from Call of the Dead. They haven't shown anything from uh, Five either, so they, they've referenced pretty much every other map, um, out there, maybe not Verrucked, I don't know if I saw Verrucked in here, um, but moving on from that, um, you notice that um, you see the four characters look up, and they're ready for battle, they're prepared, they're about to go out into World War One territory, I'm talking France, I'm talking trench warfare, and possibly the trench gun returning, also I'm talking um, about a, uh, certain giant, but I'll get to that in a second. But if you can see right here, you, you see your character, like, running through these trenches. It looks amazing. Like, Treyarch, hats off to you for making this trailer look amazing. Um, it's making me so much more hyped for this DLC. Like, it, it's incredible. I don't know how they do it. Um, but, um, yeah, you see your character running through the trenches. Uh, you see all this bullet fire everywhere. Like, it really does feel epic, and it feels awesome. And then, out of nowhere, you see this giant. And we've been hinting at the giant forever. Everyone on YouTube, play the game, was the first ones to really hint at it. I'll give them credit for that. Um, but it really is the giant. There is a giant on this map, and it's huge. And um, I know its name, actually. It's... Um, it's kind of hard to explain because some of you guys, some of you guys might not get its origin story, but um, yeah, the giant's name is Vonderbot. Yeah, Vonderbot. I mean, who else would it be, right? And guys, this is completely legit, not fake, confirmed, leaked DLC six info. Isn't that awesome? Okay, but in all seriousness, guys, we really don't know who's controlling the giant or who made the giant. But I do have a couple of ideas. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is in this trailer. You see the seven pillars that were posted yesterday on their Twitter and Facebook. And they turn, and it's like Origins. That's going to be the name of something. Either the DLC, the map, the game mode, we don't know. Now, um, Treyarch, please listen to me. Please, 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 please. All I want 
from you guys. It, to, to top off everything with these trailers, all I want from you guys is a music video like you did in World at War. For those of you who do not know, in World at War, Treyarch would make um, their trailers for the zombie maps would be like music videos with the Easter egg song in it. And that was the music video, and it showed the old characters, you know, it was like a montage of them killing stuff using all the gimmicks on the on the map and stuff, like the turrets and everything, uh, the you know, the flogger and stuff. Uh, but if they could just release that video, maybe a couple days before it comes out, that would be so amazing. That would just top off everything. If I could just see a music video of the next song and all of our old characters killing the zombies, that, that would be the best thing ever, Treyarch. I really wish you guys would do it because it just bring me back to those World at War days with those trailers. So that's about all we got to see, guys. I mean, it really confirms that the giant is on the map, and um, the question is why is the giant there? Uh, the question is why are we in the past when this is the end of Black Ops 2? Are we in some like alternate dimension or something where the past is the future? I don't know. Maybe it'll be like Shangri-La where you there's like an eclipse or something that when you're going to the eclipse, you're in the future, and when you're not in the eclipse, you're in the past. That would be pretty cool. I, uh, if they implemented something like that again, that would be pretty interesting. Um, but I, I don't know how it's going to work out. It's obviously going to conclude something uh, with our storyline and bring us new questions, hopefully, so we can have more maps in the future. But the question is, why is that giant there? Who built it? Uh, what's its purpose? And immediately what comes to mind is Maxis. Because Richtofen, you know, Richtofen wasn't into those weapons and stuff that Maxis wanted to do. Maxis was getting funded, you know, Group 935 was getting funded by the Nazi party. And Maxis was building weapons for them, you know. And he wanted to make more weapons and such. And Maxis was always wanting to make the super soldier. Um, and quite frankly... Uh, he pretty much does with the original four characters, but I guess that's Richtofen's doing, actually. But, you know, they, they're part of the same group, so they do make the super soldiers, I guess, eventually. But, you know, besides real humans uh, that got changed into super soldiers, that, you know, super superhumans unite. But, um, yeah, the giant could have been, and I, I'm just, I'm really guessing at this point, what if the giant was one of Maxis's uh, prototypes for the ultimate super soldier for the Nazis? Think about that. That would be pretty cool. Um, especially because, um, was it you, you know, through all these maps like Kino and stuff, that he was trying to manipulate the minds of the zombies, you know, humans, brainwashing, uh, you know, stuff like that. He, he wanted to create complete soldiers that would do uh, whoever's bidding. And that would be the perfect explanation for this giant on the map, um, is that Max has created. Now, how that ties in with the future, I have no idea. I, I'm, I'm lost. Um, but, you know, we, we just don't know. Um, that's about all there is to this trailer. It really just builds the hype some more. Builds the hype train. The hype train just keeps on going. Um, but, yeah, I, I cannot wait to play this map. I cannot wait to get my hands on this map. It sucks because this map comes out, you know, when I'm going back to school and stuff. And that's kind of disappointing. But I guess it makes school a little bit better knowing that I'll come home that night and play the heck out of this map. But uh, that's about it, guys. I will see you guys on the next video. And if you enjoy the video, give it a like. If you enjoyed Vonderbot. Oh, and I forgot to mention. I, I'm so sorry for this, Mr. Bo. My friend Mr. Bo of Zomunity. He's a part of Zomunity as well. Um, he <laughs> let me borrow this picture. He created this picture of, uh, of Vonderhaar's face on the robot. It's pretty funny. It made pretty much everyone in Zomunity laugh when he sent that to everybody. <laughs> it was so hilarious. But uh, yeah, that's that's the giant, guys. Vonderbot. Vonderbot! <laughs> I mean, can you imagine how amazing that would be if that was some, like, random Easter egg that didn't make any sense at all? But, you know, that will never happen. That's just me rambling some more. So, I will see you guys next time.